Captain's log, star date. Uh, um, star date is uh, fucking January 21st, 2017. And what we've done today is work about uh, eight, actually, uh, yeah, eight something hours. Big money. Big money being made out here on the streets of Metro Transit, okay? Without a fucking doubt, we've got this money thing on top of it. And this year, of all the years that I never figured this one out, we're going to try and play some games with our taxes so that we don't have to fucking worry about filing for tax. You know what I mean? We don't want to wait until the beginning of the new year to collect a thousand bucks we want to have that thousand bucks day one off the off the bat we want to have that extra money in the tank you know and we have this year is this is the year of ambitious goals this is the year where yes are we going to make 70,000 plus yes are we going to repeat what we did last year yes you know we're going to keep on making 70 grand a year you know this year, 2016 taxes, $68,200 is my federal gross taxable, you know, income, okay? What a fucking awesome year this has been. And I didn't even work as much as I could have worked, right? This last two-week period, Martin Luther King Day, plus 50 hours of overtime, 50 or 49 plus my usual, it's 50, okay? And then on, on Thursday, we're doing five hours of training. So that's on top of that, 55 hours of overtime and a holiday payday. It's gonna be a $4,000 paycheck. It's gonna be amazing. A fucking amazing, man. A plus, A plus, Eldana Moronicus. You're achieving victory. Bought the condo, got the condo, 2016. You know what I mean? Got the Kia, the Kia Soul dream car. Got it. Condo. Got it. 333 address. Got it. Swimming pool. Got it. Elevator. Got it. You know what I mean? Trip to Amsterdam. Trip to Paris. Trip to Seattle. Portland. California. Las Vegas. San Diego. What's on the menu for this year? Barcelona, Spain, back to Amsterdam, you know, Colorado, what else, we might go to Southeast Asia this year, this might be it, we might just have so much extra fucking cash, it's not even going to be funny, <laughs> but we might hold off, we might wait till next year, I don't know, this year I want to focus in, maxing out the Roth IRA once again, max it out, boom, $5,500 in the tank every year, boom, 5% yield, high dividend yield, or high, or excuse, high yield corporate bonds, boom, monthly dividends reinvested, kabam, huge cash, huge gains, stock market book collapses, doesn't matter, my shit's legit, I got it safe. Stock market collapses, most of my money's in bonds. It doesn't matter. You know, um, that's what's up. You know, health and wellness. You know, hey, did I get to drive through Taco Bell today? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was hungry. I was doing well. I could feel myself getting skinnier, and then all of a sudden, Taco Bell made it had to make a run for the border. Whatever, it's all right. Because I'm still below my, I've, I'm pretty sure that I'm below my caloric, you know what I mean? I'm not like hitting it, I'm not hitting it hard like I'm eating an entire frozen pizza or any of that crazy shit, but you know, late night maybe, late, late, late night, every night, and that's what I'm gonna do. Energy levels are high now, it's, it's kind of amazing. We have been working seven days a week for the last two weeks, and my fatigue is not that bad. I am not fatigued. You know, the, the comfort of the, the new condo with the nice, comfortable, big queen size bed, you know, these things are adding up. Am I been dreaming again? You know what I mean? That's a good sign. That means you're sleeping. 
If the dream's been wacky and weird, yeah, of course. But that's because of the drugs I take for my blood pressure. Incidentally, that's another deal that's been working out really slick. Taking multivitamins with my drugs, drinking instant coffee, I walk out of the door feeling beautiful. I feel like I'm on top of the world, like I just took a shot of fucking heroin or something. It's a wonderful feeling. Nothing like I used to feel going to work. Going to work with the pupils dilated, with the cold sweats, feeling like shit. Um, you know, it's a disaster. I was a fucking disaster. It's a miracle that I made it as long and hard as I did. Because believe me, there's a lot of chances for me to fuck this whole thing up. Right? And there still probably are a couple of chances for me to fuck everything up. But I am optimistic, optimistic that I'm going to uh, figure this shit out. You know? Figure all this shit out and then wind it in. Now I'm cruising into my underground parking garage at my fucking condo that I own. That in, t in three years I'll be able to rent out to some college kid. Right? What's happening to this neighborhood? Uh, there's a glam doll donuts opening up across the street. Across the street from that's a bad waitress. This area is becoming my old neighborhood. The neighborhood I used to live in, it's becoming the same as it used to, you know, just moving across to the nice area, to the nice part of the city, to the nice side of the river. Right? There's no dark-skinned losers lurking around, cracking windows in this neighborhood. The only people who live in this neighborhood are a bunch of Indian people that go to the U of M and study engineering. It's fucking fabulous. This is the best part of town. Figured this shit out, man. All right, well, we'll get back to you. I'm going to show a picture of this fucking paycheck. Brag about it. Because this is going to be the biggest paycheck of my career period. And if I, if you repeated these again and again and again, you would make $100,000 this year. You work seven days a week, make $100,000. You don't think it's possible. It's possible. If Don's making one twenty, you could make a hundred because you're not that far off from top pay. Work it and make that money.